There's a group of residents in Madison that are affected even more when these extreme temperatures hit those experiencing homelessness. But there are places willing to help. New tonight, Amy Reed shows us how. It's the color of the candy. Bianca and her girls aren't short on things to be grateful for. It's their first night in the shelter this winter, but still with the alternative, Bianca says she's blessed. I agree with it being stressful, but I also agree with it being an amazing thing for them to allow the doors to be open for people that don't have anywhere to go, honestly. And people has been dying lately, you know, out in the cold because the temperatures are so low. So I think that that's a great thing. She's one of many staying the night in the shelter, not wanting to face the cold and luckily not needing to. We don't deny anyone because it's a cold weather day, so our numbers increase dramatically. Mary Nicholson has worked at the shelter for six years. She said days like today push their capacity far past the normal of 45 single women and 22 families. She said it's stressful, but being able to provide that for someone is what brings her back. There's not any staff here who doesn't have a sense of um, I would say pride in what we do because we're able to provide so much for these families, but also compassion for what they're going through and how hard this really is. Earlier in the day, the families wouldn't have had many choices. The Beacon was one of only two places they could go. And like the other shelters, they pushed capacity today, though they're just happy they could help. It's definitely very close to my heart, and I kind of look at everyone as my brothers and sisters, and I wouldn't want my sister to be out. Okay. It's the mindset that makes Bianca see her situation as a blessing. At the end of the day, she's surrounded by the girls she loves in a place willing to help. I'm pretty blessed to be able to say that me and my kids do have a roof over our heads. These cold weather nights will likely be in effect all week. And with snow in the forecast, some shelters are expecting their busy day today to only get worse. Reporting in Madison, Amy Reed, WISC News 3. With the increased need, these organizations are always looking for help. We'll show you how you can do that online. Just go to our website, channel3000.com.